Well, good, G. All right, bro. Listen, a couple of weeks ago, I remember you told me to watch Vinland Saga. Uh, yeah, I do. I I remember nagging you about it in school. Um, I remember uh, you you texted me coming at me with that smoke, talking about some how come I never told you about this. And on that day, I almost flew down to England and bodied you. Let me tell you something, Kami. I had a lot going on back in the day. I couldn't watch Vinland Saga, but now, but you, but you wasn't telling me that it was on that level of greatness. Bro, that's not facts. I most definitely was. Okay, you was, you was, I'm not gonna lie. And, and I, I, listen, let me give you your flowers. Let me give you flowers. I, you I, are, you are, you are, you are like 10 for 10 when it comes to anime recommendations. You have not missed once. I'm not gonna lie. He doesn't miss. He doesn't miss. If Kami tells you to watch anime, watch that anime because it's gonna be fire. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna give you flowers. I am, I am. Y'all see that? Y'all see that right here? He just buttering the pan up right now so he could put me in the oven. What you want, bro? What you want, bro? I know you want something, bro. Yeah, bro. Let me go ahead and get that hoodie you wearing. It's clean. No, sir. I, not, not that. Not that. Anything else. Anything else. <laughs> you got my heart if you want it. What's up, bro? Um, all right, bro. That's a little off topic. That's another video. <laughs> That's another video. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right. Vinland Saga. Vinland Saga got me tripping because I was researching all types of Viking history. I was saying, <laughs> I was saying I'm like, is this real? I was like, hold on, did Wales really? I was really out here looking up Viking mythology, bro. I was like, is Vinland on the map? Let me see. I know Greenland. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, bro, did they really do that? They they really invaded, you know, invade started invading England like that. I was like, okay, okay, okay. Bro, okay, Vinland Saga. For those who don't know, but most of you probably do, is an amazing anime. It's only one season right now. Season two, I believe, is coming out soon. It's coming soon, um, yeah, yeah. It's already in, the, already in the works. Already in the works, and we need that. Uh, it's basically, it, 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 it's about a family living in Iceland, um, uh, and the father of the family is known as uh, Thor the Troll, and he is one of the, he is the strongest warrior Wars. of uh, one of the, what's it called, the Norse Vikings? Um, I think so. Yeah, well, one of the Viking uh, I think it's Thor's is, or something like that. Yeah, 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 Thor's. Uh, so, so you know, he he's basically the strongest, the strongest warrior on that on that uh, on that group of Vikings. And you know, my man, he has some children. He finds himself a boo. He's trying to settle down, fakes his death, goes to Iceland, tries to live a normal life. The war catches up with him. His son, a little hothead, sneaks on the boat, and the story takes place from there. That's when it really starts kicking off. First of all, now that we got the backstory out the way, I could talk my shit, because I got a lot to say, Kareem. Bro, bro, spoiler alert, if you have not seen this, peace out, bro. Go go watch it, bro. I don't even know what, like, yeah. get out of here, go watch it right now, then come yeah, back. Go out of here, watch it, come back. Put a, like the, like the video now, right. go back. Watch it and then come back and right. then, it'll bring your likes. subscribe and then press the notification yeah. bell because you want to, you know, converse with us in the next video and, and on this video right here. Exactly. Okay, I'm gonna be all over the place. Can I can I be all over the place? Cause I don't I don't know what to talk about first. I, I, there's a lot to talk about when it comes to villains. So, so many like points to like it's it's crazy, honestly. I won't fault you. I won't fault you. Can we can we talk about Ascalad? Bro, oh, Ascalon is just, he's like one of the realest, like, I don't even know if I want to call him an antagonist at this point, like. Bro, nah, he was the antagonist for real for, in like, the beginning. For, like, that's what you think, and then like, he kind of like switches it up, and, and and like his perception from like Thorfinn's, like, like Thorfinn's like, standpoint is kind of like. It's not even like if like villain anymore. It's not even like this guy kill my dad. It's kind of just like, like this guy is mentor, like, like a mentor type thing. Even yeah. though he's like trying to fight him and kill him, it's like he's never really. Bro, I'm tripping. I don't right know. Now because like, never really I went there. from hating. I went from hating Askeladd in the beginning when we first meet him. I was like, man, this dude wanting him to die so bad. To when to, to to by the end of the show being in tears when my man met his demise, bro. I was like, oh my, not. 
when Thor's when Thorfinn is screaming, you can't take this from me. Like I was like, oh no. Like there was so many points in the show where I thought Ashkelad was gonna meet his end. Like especially when his whole group turned on him and they was fighting in the snow. And first of all, that boy was not taking no shit from his group. He was like, y'all wanna turn on me? I'm gonna show y'all who I am. That boy split a dude in half with a helmet. He was like, bop split the whole dude in half, was taking out his men, other people's men, leading mm -hmm. them through the snow. I was like, what is Ascalad thinking? He must be tripping. I was confused, bro. This whole show left me confused because I didn't know what was going to happen next. I didn't know who the story was even following at one point. Like, it was obviously Thorfinn in the beginning, but then it kind of switches Which, to Ascalad and like- Ascalad and then it switches a little bit to, uh, the, to the prince. little prince. Yeah, the prince. Yeah. And then, and then it goes back to Thorfinn and I'm just like, what is going on? And the whole the whole time you're kind of like, does Thorfinn, is, is, is Vinland real? Is it a real place? Is it just a made up place that inspires hope within people? What's the difference between, and there's this whole like religious plot point in the background where yeah. it's like, these people believe in heaven, these people believe in Valhalla, this person believes in Vinland and like, does it really matter what you believe in or are you all the same just born on different parts of the world so you're forced to fight and i'm going all over the place because there's so much in the show like bro. they had a, a a huge i don't know like amount of like i i want to say uh like a historical touch to it like it's i, I didn't i i didn't I, don't, I can't tell what what could be real and what could be fake here like you know, because right. they're probably, of course, they, they're, they you know, embellishing things, you know, for the sake of uh, creativity and and, and and obviously progressing the show and the storyline. But, like, it's, it's it's so cold. Like, I don't know. Like, when, when you see Thorfinn after his father dies and, and, and try, just trying to survive, just trying to survive Bro. as a kid. Like out in the wilds, on eating, yeah. eating like like little like scraps off of bones yeah. that that you know somebody yeah. already ate, or yeah. until he fi finally figures out how to how to you know how to kill an animal or like, how to cook it, and yeah. he just this whole time he has his like his father's daggers, two of them. I'm just like, bro, I can't wait for this dude to like level up and just become yeah. such a fucking like yeah. monster in battle. And right, but at the same way, time, it's so sad though. Yeah. Oh, it's heartbreaking. Like when you're hearing him scream and cry and have visions of his father, like like all it is is oh. just pure rage when he fights, you know? Yeah, it's sad. And like the whole time you're thinking, like, oh, but like his mom and his sister are still back home. What's going on with them? The last you see of them, you know, the sister's breaking down, like it's the mom difficult. is sick, like Dude, you don't know if they're alive or not by the end of the show. Like, you're you just you're hoping, you know. Like, it's hard. Like, but Thor Thorfinn does not care. He's like, I'm gonna kill Ashkelad, and then we can talk about the future. You know what I mean? Like, and that's not even what his father would have wanted. You know, the 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 last lesson he taught his son before he died was a real warrior doesn't need to fight. And what is Thorfinn doing with his entire life? fighting and it's just like you can just bro it's so, it's difficult it's difficult to watch it was, because it's crazy is that like you the the uh, uh uh the real big dude i forgot his name it's supposed to be his uncle that he fights who yeah. like carries two yeah. axes and yeah. they they just be boxing like boxing like he without a care when he, when he finds out like even at that point that you know that uh he's related to him he asks him like you know what like what was the secret like what did he you know like he thinks that he's told him like the secret or whatever that um so i guess it's the way of life that his father lived or whatever or not and yeah he just can't right. he can't even tell him because he wasn't really paying attention he wasn't even though he attention. was telling him like like yo like you know this is not the way like fighting a yeah, the warrior. answer was in front of the answer was in front of him at all times, but he was so caught up in revenge and this yeah. idea of okay. being a warrior, and that's kind of like that's also a big plot point. Is like these people kind of want they it they romanticize of... the idea of being a warrior, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But Thor's was the only one that was like, y'all realize that we battling like this is not play play. Like people are dying, they have families. Like this is not the way, and like everyone's just like. 
I want to be a warrior or I love to fight. Like, this is my life. And it's like, what makes you such a great warrior, Thor's? And it's like, it's the fact that he learned the truth behind mm. being a warrior. And it's like, and he died because of it. And it is not to, to you know, to just justify, to, you know, like to protect, to protect what you love. Like, you know, he died and he was saving his, his son and, and the crew members that he had along with him as well like it wasn't yeah. like they're just at the, you know everybody else in the story is basically kind of just fighting just a fight he's just like you know y'all just killing each other like mindlessly killing yeah. each other at this point like this yeah. this is not life this ain't exactly. living is that he's trying to learn how to make a pot you know that's his mm -hmm. whole thing he's trying to make this bowl he's like sensei how do i make this bowl he's mm -hmm. like i was like I love that. I want to know, obviously you watched the show a long time before me and I've kind of just rambled on about like my instant thoughts about the show. I love the show. I kind of want to know like, what is your, what was your review of the show when you were first watching it? Like, what were you thinking at certain points? Like, who were your favorite characters? And like, uh, where did the show like kind of, did it fall off for you at any point? Cause it is a long show. I don't know if you were watching it week to week. Obviously I got to binge it and mm -hmm. like, uh, yeah, like, what were your thoughts watching the show? Because obviously mine are all over the place. You know, I love uh, Askeladd. I wanted to see what was happening with Thorfinn. I was really sad about Thor's. I was speculating, trying to figure out where it was going to go. The storyline with the prince kind of lost me, but then it got me again. Like, what was your kind of, what was your, what was your instant reactions while you were watching this uh, beautiful anime? Yeah, so when I, when I first kind of got into it right at the beginning i really just wanted to see like i was i was just hanging on thorfinn and i'm just like I'm like you know just visions of this guy being like a fucking just just berserker when it comes to like dual wielding uh with the yeah. daggers right and I, I really just wanted to see him progress to see like where he you know like where he would like when when he would you know become a just a a, a beast in battle but then you, you kind of, I kind of like, you know, eventually like got up there, right? And he's up there and you just see like the eventuality of the sadness that that be, being this, you know, great warrior, suppose that, you know, right? Puts on him and it's kind of just like, damn, this ain't for you, bro. This is not for you, like, right? And then I'm, yeah. and 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 I'm also obviously, in, in, you know, kind of observing the story, even like Askeladd's background, and and this guy, he he just he just like he's on a, a a fucking mission, sacrificing other people, and then eventually sacrificing himself for I'm not caring about it either. Yeah, for <laughs> for the greater good of a plan that he that you know he has whole faith in, even after he dies, to 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 to, to hopefully be carried carried out the you know the right way. That's like all because you know like you know because of his his sad you know tragic background yeah it's crazy and it's crazy it is it is crazy it's so crazy because like when you learn Askeladd's background it's quite similar to that of uh, Thorfinn just in the sense that he had a family member that he looked up to and he loved that believed in something that told him he was something and then it kind of all got taken away from him by a man that he hated and he wanted to kill that man and that was his goal like he, that man just happened to be his father you know and he got he got he got nice with all his siblings his half brothers and sisters he got nice with them and he even ratted the he he ratted his own brother out they hung that boy on the tree like bro Askeladd, he had a mission he was sticking to it when he stabbed his father in his bed he was like yeah yeah that's for my moms you know what i mean mm. and like he never turned his back ever since and it, it was kind of almost like he wanted better for thorfinn you know what i mean in a weird way like he's it, he, yeah, their he relationship. He Thorfinn, mm. But he just kind of like wanted better for him. He was like the whole time he was like, "Bro, kid, you still he, don't get it, do you?" He been trying to like the, my mid fight teaching him, like telling him how to beat him. But he's just like he's just like you're not paying attention. Like I'm literally telling you how how why you keep losing to me. He's like he's like he's like you're good enough that you could have killed me long ago had you. Yeah focus your mind and and because like he's like he's like you're younger than me you know like mm -hmm. you got you got the 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 youth and and, and skill behind you you could have beat me long ago but yeah. it's just it's just mindless rage mm -hmm. like it was yeah so the dynamic between it was just it was real it was it, it just got real weird you know kind of like i kind of like had 
I hate him for killing my, you know, my my father, yeah. and then like, uh, my mission is to kill this guy. And then after a while, it was just he was just, you know, throwing his rage at him at this point. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was kind of an excuse not to grieve, and now and then, as soon as he was left, you just saw how Thorfinn broke broke down. And it was mm-hmm. like, bro, you don't have anything. Look at what you've done with your life. Like you dedicated your life to killing this man. He's off doing his own thing. Like he's not really worried about you. He's treating you like a lackey. Like mm-hmm. he's, to, not, to, he's not worried to, about you at all. To do his bidding, pretty much just mm-hmm. use you like a tool. And you did. He did a good job. The action. In this show, top is tier. yeah, top the, the hands because I, I love some, oh. I love some action. The oh. hands were, ah, uh, bro, yes. they were boxing. That that montage where Thorfinn like is dual wielding the daggers and he's just, he's just killing everybody that he sees, bro. I'm just like, oh, he's a beast, bro. He's a god. When he Even goes and he open, gets it, when he goes and gets bro. the second dagger, he climbs up the wall. Starts on, clapping bro. people. Bro, left and right is bow, 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 back up, bow. And then even the opening scene when you're seeing Thor as Thorfinn's father, like doing the little war flashback, he's jumping from boat to boat, dodge, weave, weave. He gets shot in the in the chest with an arrow. He's like, that's weak. Tosses it out, starts slashing them boys back. I was like, bro, and this dude. Like, could not handle that match. It was too overpowered, but I love that show, bro. It's so amazing. I'm, so I wanna... I'm along for the ride at this point, you know, just seeing the build. And I, 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 I'm trying to see, like, where where he's going to go after this point. Will he finally go back home? Or, you mm-hmm. know, will he will he kind of soak, soak in, you know, in, in sorrow and sadness for a while? Or, you know, what's the, what's the next plan? Uh, even though I, I did want to, you know, see... And I, I kind of, you know, got a, got a little experience of, you know, his like getting to see him just be like a fighter. Uh, mm. really just, but it's kind of it's kind of like we said, like the fight, you know, really isn't, for him. isn't for him. Like, you know, it was sad, but, but it, was, it was cool to see. But after a while, course, you know, it's like, all right, all right, OK, this ain't this ain't for you, bro. Like, it's not. Yeah. For, for me, um. My favorite character, it was probably, I'm not gonna lie, it was Askeladd. It was. Uh, I just, I thought, he was, I, I thought he was cool, man. He was I too cunning. Was too cool. Yeah, he wasn't, He, you know, he was like, bro, I can't box this tall dude. He's seven feet, the, some, whatever his name was, the tall, the, his last yeah. name was the tall. Like, I'm not boxing him. Like, I gotta cheat, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. I, uh, the way he was manipulating the prince, the way he manipulated his own men, like, even his old boy that was like, bro, I'm trying to go to Valhalla. Like, let me box you. And, he, and in the end, he was like, bro, I just want to be your friend. And he's like, you were my friend, the only friend I had. And I was just like, and like when he gave, uh, the when the the member of his team got his brother got uh, scared to death, or like he his, he lost he lost his mind completely. He gave him a piece of gold and was like, bro, ne- do me a favor, never fight again. Like, leave this life. Like, it's not for you. Meet a girl. It's like you could tell that like. He was parenting almost everyone he encountered, you know, mm-hmm. even the prince. He was he was like, even though he had to do some sly stuff, like kill the prince's mentor. Yeah, you know the mentor, I mean? he's like, because like, the mentor is coddling you. He's like, yeah, he was like, he got this is the real world and I'm going to teach you. He got to go back, like, you know, like, yeah. I just love I think that character, you it's almost like Itachi in, in a way that uh, he you hold a burden. For the betterment of each character because of the world that you live in like when they went to that village and they were like don't worry there's gonna be enough food don't worry about it for us and then killed everyone in the vi- i was just like oh it's not to it. it's kind of like it, they did it this sort of reverse because they would starve or die from being yeah, frozen yeah, like, but that was the thing it was like you got we counted your food before we did this you're gonna die or we can live do what we need to do or you can just live out the rest of your miserable lot you feel me Mm -hmm. and so it's like it was really it was the burden he was the one that had to make that decision and the the decision looking at it like objectively is like okay yeah that makes perfect sense you know but to have to carry that and to have to be that character even when he's marching his men 
and his men are like, bro, ask like, what are you doing? Where are we going? And he's he's accounting for all these people. And I'm like, he's like, just follow me, just follow me. And he knows that they're being rallied to turn on him, but he's still, do you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. that type of character to me, the amount of burden. And then he still got Thorfinn on his back trying to kill him every five yeah. minutes. Like, let's duel. Like, bro, relax. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you could do this. Is like, he's just like, yeah, you can duel me if you go beat him or if you go do this. Yeah. Like, he like. He saw dude, he was not trying to box. He was like, ah. Thorfinn, you trying to fight later, bro? Go ahead and, buy, go ahead and take care of my light work. Cause he's just like he's just like I can beat you as long as long as you don't learn your lesson. I'm just gonna beat you every time. So it's like exactly. He's like, oh, dude, it was great. I I, I loved him, and I, I shed a tear when that man passed away. I was like, yeah, and the way he passed away, faking that he was crazy, but like there was almost a bit of realness to it, like when he was saying, I am I am your king, like I am the uh, descendant of the the great king, you know, whatever that's what his mom told him you know mm-hmm. um and there's like truth to that and i'm sure he felt that way and it's kind of like it's just special like that those kind of characters to me are special like it's kind of like i said like itachi like you don't know if they're good or bad and when you get their full when you get the full picture you're left conflicted you it's know? like a it's that gray area between the black and yeah. white and honestly in a season two i am i hope they go down the route of less fighting and more of like Thorfinn trying to see what his father was trying to do because he has no more purpose. Thorfinn doesn't care about war. He doesn't care about anything. He was trying to kill Askeladd. Askeladd's gone. Does he go back to to Greenland? Are they going to go look for uh, uh, Vinland? Uh, You know, like there's so much, there's so much that so many directions that his life can go. His whole life is ahead of him is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. His whole life is ahead of him, which is interesting for a character in an anime, you know? He doesn't have a goal anymore. He doesn't have a, a a path. You know, everything that he he's worked for was taken from him, and he's just kind of left as a as a canvas, uh, broken. And so I'm really excited to see where he goes from here because it's 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 up to him. You know, that was our review on Vinland Saga. It was all over the place because the anime is amazing. If you've seen it already, I don't know why you'd watch this video if you haven't seen it. Uh, let us know your favorite parts, your thoughts, what you're expecting in season two in the comment section below. We want to discuss, we want to talk about it because there's a lot in this show and with season two coming out, the possibilities are endless. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe, like, comment. We're gonna hit that notification bell so you know whenever we drop videos because we back to making videos. Uh, me and Kami appreciate all the support on the last videos and the last conversational videos that we've done. Uh, we want to bring more anime, more topics, more uh, just fun stuff for you guys. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you for watching and peace. I just put a stick on my Draco. I heard you bitch if I say so. Hometown hero. Okay, KO. Kicking yoga. Only peso. My shooter guy dressed like he J. Cole. I got the sauce with no prego. These niggas with the but now they know. I'm starting to grow. I'm starting to show. I don't fuck a bitch in my play clothes. Black on me, keep his mouth closed. And I'm these four L.R.P. Shut it up. Can't do it.